The first ever annual sitting volleyball tournament was recently held at the Boys and Girls Club in Niagara Falls. The event was hosted by the Brock Niagara Penguins, who just kicked off their 14th season. So about um, two years ago, uh, we made a partnership with the City of St. Catharines to start a sitting volleyball team. We had six interested athletes. Um, we train on Monday nights at Harriet Tubman School through the City of St. Catharines, and our team has grown. We now have 14 athletes. Um, the Ontario Volleyball Association hosts provincials every year, but we felt they need more than just one tournament. So in partnership with OVA, we decided that we were going to host a, um, a local tournament. So sitting's a unique para sport in that the functional classification for it really only comes into play at the national level so below that anybody can play and now we have several high schools with teams where their criteria to play is just people who've never been on a team and get out and become part of a team and wear a school jersey and enjoy the sport what are some of the differences and similarities between sitting volleyball and volleyball okay rules wise it's very similar obviously the net is lower the other difference is that you can block the serve in sitting volleyball. Um, and other than that, it's, it's just basically the same game. Sitting volleyball is a very um, rough sport. Like You have to be able to move like very fast on the court. And it's not like you're using a wheelchair or anything. You're using your own body weight to, to, to move around the court. So you end up hitting your elbows or whatever. Like It's, it's pretty rough, but, but it's fun. Everybody on the, our team has a great time. We have great relationships with everybody. So it's, it's a fun sport to play. Like I love it. What does it mean to you to be able to be a part of the first ever sitting volleyball tournament in Niagara? It's pretty amazing. Um, we our, our team actually got to go to the Parasport Games back in 2018 for the Durham. So it was great. We came home with silver medals. That was an awesome experience. Uh, with the Penguins, it's been, uh, I was invited to them by a friend of mine, Shelly, who's been with the program for a while, and she said, you got to come out and uh, work with our team here. So uh, it's been super, super positive. The volunteers that have been coming out, they've been uh, great to be working with. Uh, uh, the players on the team, the everyone's uh, always positive about everything. It's, there's never any negativity that's happening, and it doesn't matter if you're good, you're bad, whatever at the skill level, it's, it's just a lot of fun going out with the team. Today's tournament came on the heels of a break-in at the Port Weller Community Center that saw the theft of over $20,000 in cycling equipment. So our trailers were damaged, parts of a bike were taken out so that that bike is not usable right now. A racing wheelchair was stolen, two of our hand cycles were stolen, two of our trainers were stolen, and our stereo system. So that program right now is in jeopardy of continuing. It, it's sad to see that happen, but again, it doesn't... It doesn't reflect on a community when there's a couple of people who can do something that heinous. That's all. It's, it, it's sad. And Parasport will be there to help them rebuild their programs and get things going again. We were so, so overwhelmed with what happened to it. Now this is going to impact so many of our athletes. Like We have kids that are in high school that want to go to OFSA and compete. And they, they may not be able to do that because we will have the equipment to offer that to them. And I want to say, um, we are a volunteer driven organization and if anybody wants to help, just give us a call. It's 905-359-6283. Send us an email at niagarapenguins at brockhue.ca. Um, right on our website, which is niagarapenguins.org, it explains how you can make a donation. Um, all of our money, um, all the donations we get will go specifically to replace this equipment for that we can look at continuing this program into the future. To show your support and to find out how you can help the Penguins recover from last week's theft, visit their website at niagarapenguins.org. Reporting for The Source in Niagara Falls, I'm Jordan James.